scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. My life is full of your glory. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 5. Let your heart be open tonight. Acts chapter 5 from verse 12. We'll read from verse 12 to 16. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the rest does no man join himself to them but the people magnified them 14 and believers were the more added unto the Lord by reason of the mighty things that happened multitudes both of men and women 15 in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing might overshadow some of them. The last verse 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed everyone. Praise the Lord. It is God's desire that continually a territory and a people continually that they continue to experience the wonder working power that is back of the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is powerful the Bible says God has given him a name please listen and he said that name has been exalted above every other name and the bible demands not as an option that that name sustains the ability to cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess acknowledging that jesus has now become not only christ alone but lord the bible says he has been made both lord and Christ he became Christ when the Holy Spirit came upon him he became Lord at his coronation when he sat at the right hand of the Father so he occupies those offices as the Christ of God and Lord the owner of the earth one of the ways that the kingdom was designed to advance please listen is through the the wonder walking manifestations of the power and the glory of god through men to men within a territory that means that when a territory continues to experience the multifaceted dimensions of the christ in miracles signs wonders healings strange manifestations of his power the bible says that everywhere this kind happens 
an entire territory will always come towards where the hand of God is finding expression and that many multitudes both of men and women will come to Jesus I came in and I met a gentleman sharing his testimony I was so blessed when he said in the dream remember that the demand and now he's waiting for the altar call that one is the power of God are we together ministry is easy when there is results you see let me tell you this. anything is hard when there are no results so we are a people of results consistent results anything will be difficult when there are no results tonight several people have come several others connecting from around the world why number one because we all together as a family love jesus but number two because we have come believing believing number one according to hebrews 11 verse 6 that he is he exists and then two that he has the ability to reward god is called a rewarder he can reward them that diligently seek him there are families represented here trusting god for all kinds of things holding in their hands death sentences situations that only the power of god can solve what then is ministry if it cannot culminate to the lifting of men what then is ministry if it cannot draw men to jesus what then is ministry if it does not provide a platform for people to experience a dimension of god that is higher than science a dimension of god that is higher than medicine a dimension of god that is higher than economics see listen let me tell you this when you come before god it is important that you respectfully acknowledge that men have understanding but when you come before the god of the universe please find a way of indoctrinating yourself that you are operating um you are dealing with a god that operates in a realm and a dimension that is higher than the scope of men he will use men but he does not walk by men he walks through men so it is not unusual that you are here right now and scientifically speaking there is you put two and two together and it does not make sense how you will come out when i was meditating on what i'll be sharing just a little chat before we pray i i had a vision and in that vision i saw what would be a similitude of the experience of jesus remember when he was going to gadara and there was a storm and i saw not the exact thing in the bible but i saw like a raging storm and i knew that this would probably refer to a category of people seated here and outside and following online who are having all kinds of storms around their lives it may be to go back to that scripture and just study it very carefully <clears throat> because if jesus calmed the storm then you should study what he did are we together can we look at it for just two minutes before we pray luke chapter 8 let's look at luke's account i love the scriptures luke chapter 8 verse 22 now it came to pass on a certain day listen that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them let us go over to the other side of the lake and they launched forth uh-huh let's continue but as they sailed remember it was vision that brought this trouble if they were not moving forward there would be no need for a storm sometimes a storm does not mean you are wrong it could mean you are right they were on their way to the other side sometimes not having a storm does not mean you are all right there are times that it means you are not doing anything you are not moving they were on their way to the other side and then the bible says that a storm arose but as they sailed he jesus now fell asleep 
And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and they were in jeopardy. 24. And they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master. Another version says, Careless not that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased and there was calm. Leave it there. Leave that scripture there. <laughs> Look up. A storm is made of two things. Number one, wind. Number two, water. Every storm is made of wind and water. The Bible says to calm the storm, Jesus dealt with two things. He dealt with the wind and he dealt with the water. That a storm does not just happen until these elements are present. The wind and the water. The wind in scripture always talks about the spiritual impute, the realm of the spirit. All through, consistent, from Genesis 1, breathing upon them the breath of God. Ezekiel 37, are we together? Right everywhere the Bible talks about wind. It has to do with the spiritual dimension of anything. And then number two, the Bible talks of water. Water in scripture, especially with this kind of reference, refers to men, multitudes. The voice of God is mighty upon the waters. So the Bible says, you have no business having a storm until there is wind and water. There has to be a spiritual dimension for every storm to be called a storm. And then there must be human factors that can work in partnership with the realm of the spirit to make a storm real. So Jesus is on his way going. We see that there are spirits. We know that this is true because as soon as he gets to Gadara, we see a man and we see spirits. So this condition was fulfilled. Are we together now? That a storm cannot be a storm until there is wind and water. Jesus gets up and with this intelligence, he knows what to rebuke. The Bible says, look at, the Bible says he rebuked the wind, one side, and then the raging of the water. Was it not the man in Gadara who was raging with anger? Are we together now? The Bible says they would bind that man and put him in grave, and, I mean, at rocks, and he would break the chains. He came to Jesus and said, what is all this? You have come to destroy us, do not torment us. And Jesus rebukes the spirit. Jesus corrects that man. And when you read down here, the Bible says he came and met the man in his right mind, in his right senses. So that means that every time humans go through storms, it's a combination of two things. One, the physical body, the situation that looks obvious. But that in the realm of the spirit, there is a wind that gives that water life. That the water does not move on its own. It is sponsored by an agency. That the family problem is more than just two people. Are we together now? That the financial storm is not just about money, Naira and Kobo. Every storm is made of wind and water. Jesus did not only rebuke the wind. The Bible says he rebuked the raging of the water. And the Bible said they, like two living things, ceased. And there was calm. Jesus is teaching us how to calm storms. That every time there is a storm, number one, know that it only comes because you are moving forward. Let us go to the other side. You know, we have this mindset that every time storms come, sometimes they mean you are wrong. It may mean you are right. Jesus never said, let us go back. He did something about that situation. There are times that going back is not an option. You have the power to calm the storm. And that the first thing he did, just to encourage someone, that the first thing Jesus did was to rebuke the wind in that order. Because according to James 2 and verse 26, a spirit without a body is dead. Behind every body, there is a spirit component to it. Behind every situation as a body, there is a spirit component to it. So he rebukes the spirit. This is the same thing Jesus did also. When you read the 12th chapter of Luke, the Bible lets us know that one time 
um, he met a woman who had been stooped for 18 years, he said. And he said, woman, thou art loosed from your infirmity. And then when the woman was loosed, he now laid hands on her and straightened her. And said, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, ought not this woman, she shouldn't be in this condition as a daughter of Abraham. There are storms that continue to rage. When God showed me that vision, I knew exactly what he was saying. There are many people who will focus on what is obvious. The financial issue, the marital issue, the career issue. You are just looking at the water, the raging of the water. But that the water in itself has a wind behind it. There is a spirit that is sponsoring that family catastrophe. There is a spirit. Listen very carefully. This is our generation that continues to ignore the reality of the spirit realm. It's amazing how we try to ignore, we find a way of convincing ourselves that there are no spirit influences in the world of men. And if any, it's just mind. No, there are real spirits. They are alive. They influence people's finances. They influence marriages. They influence ministries. They influence results. Every time Jesus was going to handle issues, he dealt with the spiritual dimension first. And then he corrected the physical dimension. Are we together? That means adjusting things from the physical is a total waste of time. There are people who the solution to their problem is not counseling. The guy is not a thief as a habit. He's a thief as an influence. That's the reason why no matter where you hide what you hide, the spirit works like a prophetic spirit with word of knowledge. He will know where it was kept. That's not a habit. There are people like Jonah who are carrying all kinds of presents that continue to program difficulties in their lives. Even something that should be easy, when it gets to your turn, it becomes horribly difficult. It's a spirit. When there is a raging storm, that the way to deal with it is to rebuke the wind, then rebuke the water, then both of them will be calm. You rebuke your child and you leave the wind, you are in trouble. Imagine that Jesus met the guy at Gadara and said, that's all right, no problem. Just dress well and uh, behave yourself next time when you see me. No. Legion. Legion of devils in one man. And Jesus said, go out of this man now. And they left. And then the man, imagine the man taking his bath, a sound and a sane man coming back and you look at him and say ah, yesterday you were you were not like this and the man will say yes because it was me plus other entities see i have learned by experience and by scripture the the power of victory when realities in the realm of the spirit are settled is a total waste of time i am telling you to approach things purely from a scientific point or from a sociological point at best it can just provide temporary succor but if it's the results you are looking for all realities must first be settled in the realm of the spirit the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 starting says now faith is the substance of things hoped for it calls faith the evidence of things not seen and then he says for by it the elders obtained a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god the second part is my interest he says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that means the physical realm does not give birth to the physical realm the physical realm is a child that comes from another dimension every good thing has an origin from the realm of the spirit every evil thing also has an origin 
from the realm of the spirit. Are we together? When a woman gives birth to a child, sorry to use this analogy, the child comes out and you notice there is an umbilical cord that connects into the woman. That umbilical cord is a testimony that that child started from within. Is that true? This is the same thing. Listen carefully. Every situation you see is like a baby. When you trace carefully, you will trace the umbilical cord and it will disappear. You will have to be spiritual to know where it extends to. And some spiritual umbilical cords are long because they come from regions that are very far. Hallelujah. But what does the doctor do to have the child completely free? He cuts it off. Period. For as long as that umbilical cord is there, that connection remains. And then he cuts it off. This is exactly how it is. Stop approaching life just from the physical standpoint. I am telling you this. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I have read my Bible and I have learned every flourishing ministry does not start just by an anointed man and cheers and members and keyboardists and intelligent speaking no sir it starts from the realm of the spirit there must be a testimony in the realm of the spirit that reflects in the physical the book of job how did it start the bible says once upon a time the writer of Job gave us the duality of realms. We were able to see things from both realms. And the Bible says the whole story did not start just on earth. That the discussion started in the realm of the spirit, in the heavenlies. And a man came and was proposing all kinds of things. Satan, going to and fro. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan testified and said, well, I came to him and I found him fortified. And he said, is it for nothing that you cover this man? While that is happening in the realm of the spirit, Job gets up in the morning and he does not know that he's one week left for his tragedy to start. He's on earth. Hmm. Imagine the night before all his children will die and all his cattle. He was still the greatest man in the east. But overnight, when the realm of the spirit finishes something, it will take only God to correct it whatever happens in the physical realm is just acting believe me the same way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was already slain and so it will be impossible for it not to happen in the physical realm regardless of what satan did all the manipulations are we together the Bible says that God hath blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It's already done. That means the, the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence. That for as long as we partner with God, inevitably, it must find expression in the physical realm. This I believe. Build the ministry from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm. Build the business from the realm of the spirit and what, what happens in the physical realm. Build the children from the realm of the spirit. The dedication I did for our little one here, that's what they did for many people. They dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to America and never came to Nigeria again. Yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village although they're in America. Why? Because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will, should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back. We are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection. It has been finished already. The miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit. The rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit. Are you seeing that now? And that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect inevitably, you will see the hand of God. He said, who has believed our report to him, that man, the arm of the Lord has been made manifest. why do we call for these kinds of services they are not just moments to while away time 
There are several people outside everywhere, thousands of people all around this ground, and many more connecting around the world. God is not stupid to gather a people. Some of you left this journey from maybe outside of this nation, within this nation, traveling, risking your life to come and sit down. Would God be joking with you to bring you here? Abba. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. I believe that God can turn things around. Listen to me, please. I want to shake off unbelief from you. I believe that God, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that a whole family can come and just sit in and say, Lord, can you turn our lives? Ha! Do you know, as a man of God, I've been around this thing for a while, and maybe a little while, and I'm telling you, myself, even as a man who God has helped, sometimes I am in awe and shock at the way God moves. That someone can just come and sit in the presence of God, my brothers and sisters, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes like a drug, and that's it. You step up and doors open, just like that. It's like a dream. Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. Please hear me. Believe what I tell you. Everything you are looking for is looking for you. If it has not gotten to you, something stopped it. I desired once and again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Everything you are looking for is looking for you. The breakthrough, the lifting, the anointing, the new levels, the increase, the expansion. It is God's will. His testament already tells us. There's no need going to pray and say, is it God's will? No. The will of God is revealed through his word. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. And then scripture says, let God be true and that every man a liar. If you believe this about God, then you will also know that the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporal. What does temporal mean? Subject to change, fading. But the things that are unseen are eternal. That means everything that does not represent the counsel of God can change. Can change. It's a miracle that my life of lack can change. Are we together now? My life of living from drug to drug, from death sentence to death sentence can change. So the question tonight is not can God do it? No, no, no. The ministry of Jesus captured all of this. He preached, he taught, he healed the sick. Listen carefully. He casted out devils. He made for the provisions of people that there be supplies. So I know God is able to do it. Please don't come sitting here tonight wondering. I've gone to many churches, you may say. I've been prayed for by several people. Apostle, you don't know the amount of vigils. Let me tell you something. And I submit to you respectfully. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Listen very carefully. Don't generalize troubles. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. The anointing is like money. If you have 1,000, you have money. But that money can only buy to the limit of 1,000. And if what you need to buy is 10,000, you are in trouble. You will need to add nine of what you already have. In addition to what you have. To make that a possibility. So then death walks in us. That life will walk in you. My assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing and to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth. Why? Because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident. That means 
the testimony that the level of grace I occupied three, four, five years could not produce. If it cannot produce that result till now, then I'm not growing. The problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No, the problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another um, a resident doctor? What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs, and wonders, no matter who argues around it, is the authorized signature. Sign El Shaddai. This is how he works. When he moves upon the lives of people, he leaves his signature there. Where the carcasses are, they say, that's where the eagles will gather please let me encourage you if you are a man of god here and you are here in this meeting please desire more than receiving a miracle desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable 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 no amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle no amount of handbill now i'm not being sarcastic will do the work of a real miracle a transformed life is a real miracle a healed body is a real miracle hallelujah we have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of god resting upon people resting upon families some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what god is doing now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering okay is my case too big will god be able to visit me ah. you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their problem. Say, doctor, you don't know the pain, eh? When I'm telling the doctor, I already know the situation. Don't just be patient. Say, don't allow me. Let me let me explain to you. Let me even try to turn and he's looking. And the man says, I was in medicine before you were born. I've met this kind of thing before. I know the solution. And sometimes the solution is funny. He can just give him a prescription. And he said, that's all. I thought I would be on admission. I said, no, no, it doesn't call for that kind of emergency just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat no. no apostle you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here no it's a threat to you but it's not a threat find a way of believing what i'm saying because it is true the sun of righteousness is here with healing in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with lifting in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with speed in his wings for someone's destiny the son of righteousness is here with fire in his wings the son of righteousness is here with healing in his wings listen when the lord called me i told him something i said lord i know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power
to allow your might to be revealed in them. You know, most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right. Uh, if they are not changed, that's okay. No. I believe in miracles. I believe in the word becoming flesh. God reaching down to people. I believe in situations changing with proofs. Proofs. Your account. Proof. Your destiny. Proof. Everything with proof. And we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers. That's what God does. You come and sit down in this atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, and you are wondering, can God step into my situation? I love Jesus with all my heart. I have read the scripture. I have seen what God can do. Can God give me a job? Can God open a door? Can God put this anointing upon my life? Can God lift the death sentence over my life? Can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family? The answer is yes. Let me repeat the answer is yes God is able before God gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience God hallelujah praise the Lord so tonight I like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can God make a way in the wilderness there are many ways God can deliver you from the wilderness he can leave the wilderness there and carry you that's method one number two he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it Three, he can leave you there and carry the wilderness. It doesn't matter how he does it. The most important thing is you are separated from it. Look at the size of your challenge. The heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. Footstool. Hallelujah. It is footstool. Please help those here. The power of God. I just saw light just flashing here. Two people just here. The power of God is touching them. The Lord straight up is visiting them. And for one, I'm seeing God remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach. I command that growth to go now in the name of Jesus. There are two of them. There's two. I saw two lights. So just this way. And it's a ministry of the spirit, you see. Two lights. There is, there is one. Something is coming out of the stomach is what I'm seeing. Um, I don't know what it is looking like, but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach. Lord, we believe in you. Lord, we believe in you. There is a man of God here. The power of God is coming on him. You are in ministry. You are a man of God. I just saw it by the Spirit. Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing, there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents. There are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing. No. There are certain operations that are legislations. It is not the anointing that makes it happen. There is an office in the realm of the spirit recognized, accredited by God, allocated for that grace and that office. Please listen. Understand what I am teaching you. So that when words come like this, I'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen. No, 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 no. No, there are times that that happens. 
try to understand what I'm teaching you. There are things that are, they are governmental legislations. You see, let me tell you, there is growth in the spirit. And people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them. What was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five, two, and one talent? He said, I set thee over kingdoms. What kingdoms? That was the reward he got. A ranking in the spirit. That means I extend your dominion. That these other kingdoms, they also come under the influence of your speaking. That means you can declare things. When I started out in ministry, I would not minister that way. Because it was not by this, this grace for legislature. It was just about the anointing being properly channeled. But now that's not just the issue now. No. At that level, you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this. You see that. So when I declare and I speak sometimes, it is not just an anointed man speaking. No, there are speakings that come from the anointing. But there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks the centurion said i am a man under authority authority there is a government there i am a captain i have an allocation in the army there are people who must hear me because i am under that grace that means there are things that can be called listen if i am walking if I am working in a restaurant and I am the manager in that restaurant, now, whether I can cook or not, I am the manager. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that means there are certain privileges that can happen. Is that true? It is within my power to tell you, come and sit down in that restaurant. Please serve him. You see that? I cannot cook physically. But I occupy a position that has a cook under me. I can make his grace work for you. This is what I'm saying. I'm not the one who prepared the food. But there is somebody who can cook. But both the cook and all of this is within. The restaurant was given to my care. Let me tell you what this means. Please listen. And, and I'm careful to say this because many young people, once they get these kinds of things, they usually will not understand what the man of God is saying. And they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous. Let me tell you this. There is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people. That means if Pastor Femi has a grace for prayer and you need it, I can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission, I, me, a man, I can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on. I can partner with the Holy Spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him. I may not have it as a person, but because he needs that grace, God can use me to take that grace and place it on someone. It's true. We remain humble before God and we thank him for the things that he continues to provide. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, men are not just men. This is a revelation that is very, is very difficult to understand, but it's powerful when understood. So when God gathers us like this, God will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you. No, God does not work like that. He will first check your problem before directing you. So if he allowed you to come, it is because he has checked. It's like a checklist. And he said, no, no, no. The grace for your problem is here. Go, you can go. The same way you apply for admission, you first check whether the course you want, do they offer it? Just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university. There are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there. 
Why? Because you want to access it. This is how these things are spiritually too sometimes. Doesn't mean that we're the only ones doing what we're doing. That would be pride and that would be untrue. But let me tell you something. That as God continues to engrace us, then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step. I know that not many of us are sick, crippled and all of that. So it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately. But the anointing comes on you and then you can go. As you go, you, you know what is on you by what starts to change. So you're a man of God. You go back. Ah, I came to Zaria. It was a powerful meeting. And then God leads you to certain people. And for the first time, you are surprised. You are talking to the person and you are hearing names that you don't know. You are saying, okay, I used to just think these things are intuition. So the speakings of God can be this clear. I can know it this much. Tonight is not only a night of deliverance. Tonight is not only a night of healing. Tonight is not only a night to calm storms. Tonight is a night of receiving. I really believe that impartations to receive, to receive. You have to add to the grace that is upon your life already. Grace and peace be multiplied. If you stay where you are, you will not grow in results. Grace and peace be multiplied. You are a prayer warrior. You are, the, you are a leader in a group. You remain at that level. Everybody will go and leave you there. And they will not listen to you again. That's the truth because they have exhausted the level of grace. It's not that they don't want to love you. You have to grow. So take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on God. Place something upon my life. Lord, you have come. Put something upon my life. Put something upon my destiny. And if you came here as a family, put something, oh God, upon our family. Son of righteousness is he with fire in his eyes. The son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. Who is Deborah? Overflow one. Just we're going to be very fast tonight. Deborah. Someone in overflow one. Deborah. We're going to pray. Deborah. She's at the back. You are wearing something on your head. You are tying something on your head. Outside. Overflow one. Son of righteousness is here healing in his wings son of righteousness is here I'm going to pray but the person I'm seeing is wearing traditionals it's like it has a little of maroon touch on it traditionals this is what i'm seeing i will pray for you the son of righteousness is he when you find such if there's if there's nobody like that no problem my dear where are you coming from zaria I want to pray for you look at me your life will so change this night it will surprise you there is a God in heaven I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is wiping your tears completely just by his spirit He's wiping where are you from the mic is not working find out why please can I pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ I release you my dear Deborah is your name in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I release you from captivity I set you free by the Spirit of the Living God I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe but the Lord is saying to release you and I declare to you by the Spirit of the Living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the Living God releasing you right now my dear 
Where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, you feel pain in your back? Yes, sir. Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here, like this. From my back to this. We are going to pray for the sick. Huh? So, when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I'll pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You are her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. Very nice lady. Come. What, do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner I love you you're a very honest and sincere lady and I'm going to pray for you huh? hold my hands father honor your word in the name of Jesus Christ give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living God find somewhere for her let her sit down we are going to pray I want to pray we are going to do a very quick walk tonight the power of God is coming on someone around the worship team here I just saw just like light I don't know who that person is, but I just saw light around the worship team. We are going to pray. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry, Lord, visit me. Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray. Make sure you pray. Something must come upon your life tonight. coming from come this lady you yes where are you coming from you are schooling here from where your state you are from Kaduna state where are your loved ones tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family huh? that's what God is telling me to tell you November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November it comes to an end now i command by the spirit of the living god the bible says now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty let it end let it be over right now let it be over right now Father, I pray tonight in the name that is above all names, that your mighty power in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, that it be made manifest across this place. Let yokes be lifted, let burdens be lifted, let all kinds of yokes be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, please. I want to pray for you. Please pay attention. Focus on Jesus. It is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing. No. I want to pray and minister the power of God. That if there is anything at all 
within this circumference that is not of the Christ that as we pray the power of God comes upon you please we'll have we we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out we are going to shout that name that is above all names it's not a ritual wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of Jesus I pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name already I'm telling you I see fire just like rain but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions at the count of three one two three shout Jesus that every power that is not of God go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name that is above all names I decree and declare the forces of ancestry yokes of darkness please bring them out quickly 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 we're praying again hear me the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered you are going to shout that name again not just for yourself not just for your family that everything that is not by the christ it must give way right now i speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and every name that is named are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus release them now release them now 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 release their destinies ke paruta shalabakata ke pozeke teke te prakata by the blood release them now the bible says even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered hallelujah was you praying you are going to shout two more times this is the second to the last time the Lord wants to end patterns something that happened to someone your mother is now happening to you your mother was raped you are now being raped your father failed you now failed in the name of Jesus I declare now this one I see fire coming on several people inside and outside Lord I pray anyone here who is a victim of patterns strengthened by spirit at this shout oh god let there be deliverance one two three shout jesus be free now be free now repeatable patterns that tie people down outside inside be free now everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit whether here or any of the overflows I declare to those spirits the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and that where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I speak by the anointing in the name of Jesus that these spirits let them go and release the families all those in front here at the count of three release them release their families one two three go now go 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 the woman holding photo there's a woman here holding a picture there's a woman holding a picture. Come, madam. 
Let every other name fade away. Come, mother. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children? Where are they? Your children. I'm seeing two of your children in the U.S. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is... Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in U.S. How many of them are in U.S.? Okay, three of them in U.S. Who is in U.K.? Where is the one in U.K.? There's one in U.K. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. In the name of Jesus, madam, I lay my hands on you and upon this request. Turn every captivity, my God, to become like the streams of Negev, the Negev. Be free now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Over now. The power of God will touch them in the U.S., in the U.K. I bring liberty to this family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um... My friend, this man, please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joy ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo. First on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray because I am seeing, number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation. Amen. The revelatory grace. Amen. Revelatory dimension of the anointing. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support, help us, Amen. very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it all right if right. I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, I'm hearing... Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name, but we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that. You are a family. It's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. 
there are many people who came who are from Zonkwa were in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, there's, there's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um, either drugs or this um, uh, all these things that they smoke. There, I'm seeing at least 11 people and the Lord is saying he wants to deliver them now. Now in this place. I'm going to pray for these gentlemen but I'm going to ask those people. Listen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I, like I said, I would not call you to embarrass you but God is showing me both men and women, not only women, addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is. Drugs. The Lord wants me to pray for those people. So I'll, immediately I pray for this, I will call you. Please leave your friend, leave whatever you are doing and you come and stand and I'll pray for you. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that God is lifting you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is lifting you by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that everything that does not represent the counsel of God, let it live your life right now. And for all of you who stood in for the name Ezekiel, I pray for you. My friend, look at me. God is visiting your family, eh? You. is visiting your family in a very strange way. This, it will not reach wicked next week before you start getting testimonies. This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel, in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord, be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Was was well from Zonkwa, sir? Are you a family? Yes, God, it's our family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No so problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't don't let the children who cry. Their children. Is it the same family? Yes. Uh, don't worry. I'll pray for you. And this one's too. And your children, madam. What do you do, ma? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse. I will pray for you, oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Um, who is what? He speaks your language. You, okay, when I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down, they either die or go down. graduate from school before he died that's what i'm saying yes. i'm seeing that this is yes. what happens yes. just when people His should settle down my brother, yes. our first born, he graduated this? from school before he died is your father yes. is he your brother yes he's my brother okay oh please someone help us and attend to these children please these are your don't worry my dear there's no need to shout please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This student. Where? You love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. 
I don't know him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seen by the spirit. This, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God, an evangelist. Hold my hands. I release you into this grace. May this anointing take you to dimensions untold. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh grace for prayer, fresh grace for the word. I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions now i pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing that there are forces that sit on people's destinies just when people should sit down they crash down in the name that is above all names i declare be free now be free now help this girl be free now every spirit look at the children i cause this spirit now now out of this family in the mighty name of jesus i release this family from the spirit of death and the influences of the grave be free in the name of jesus christ and let me prophesy to any other family here that is under this kind of yoke in the name of jesus come out of it now hallelujah God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to your seat. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But the Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. L listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. So please, I'm going to give one minute. Whether you are in overflow 3, overflow 2B, 2C, 4, wherever, or in here, you know that some people are not bad they are not bad people they just need to be free please run and come and stand here right now you are addicted to all of these drugs don't be looking at anybody to say so this one is none of your business please celebrate everyone it takes a lot of courage for them to come are you clapping for them everyone please there are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not. Look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hey, 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 hey. The Son of Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody is condemning you. It's an addiction. It's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character. It's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling even in life academically until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. 
gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. God is setting people free. Listen. Let me tell you. Sincerely. I love every one of you. And I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family. Nobody dares condemn you. We are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water. It is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue. There is a spirit. No amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem. You will need to be delivered. And I want to pray for you. Praise the Lord. There are two things I want you to do for me. One, when I pray for you, you have a responsibility to let some of the association, because I know how addictive these associations are, tell them that Apostle Joshua Selman prayed for you and trust God for grace to leave them alone. Come to the house of God and make good friends. Are we together? You are not free when your association is not free. Because some of you, you probably have made attempts before. But you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say, forget about that nonsense. So you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place and cut the help them please my god and cut these chains i'm praying for all of you in front now the legal basis upon which this spirit operate by the blood of the eternal covenant i break that legal hold now i break that legal hold now the spirit of addiction to drugs be free from it now be free from it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I pray for every one of you. Hear me. I'm saying it again. I don't care how it came into your life. It leaves you now and forever. It leaves you now and forever. Any association that the devil uses to keep you here. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. I set you free from them forever. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you are free. Say after me, all of you in front. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I am free from any and all forms of addiction. I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No one condemns you. We stand as a family. We stand by you. And we agree as a family of faith. You are free from this nonsense this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. hallelujah now don't be embarrassed i'm going to pray from here but i'm seeing a spirit on a lady 
it is only married men that look for you Shalis kabarutas kabariata only married men a young gentleman who can settle down with you will never be interested in you but a man who is already married that's the one who will look for you in the name of jesus whether in this auditorium overflow one two three whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now I'm still praying. I'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people. I say it again. That anointing, that grace, whatever it is that makes only married men to look for you in the name that is above all names. Be free now. Be free now. Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and I'm seeing that door closed before we pray for the sick the Lord is saying to open that door I believe that there are many people it represents the next level of several people's lives I stand right now my God I'm seeing rain just coming on people my God the king of glory I declare everybody who is standing in front of a closed door I speak to that door. Be open now. Be open now. Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey. with this woman who came with this madam she came on her own because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you madam I don't know you but in a name that is above all names you came with her from where here in the name of Jesus madam I don't know you but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead every closed door before you I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus Christ be open in the name of Jesus as I pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady look at her tearing her clothes you see how these wicked spirits walk listen let me tell you something deliverance look at me deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down no now you can see this girl imagine that she's your fiance and your wedding is next week you see what we are saying I, i'm not saying she's a bad person please don't mm -mm. but you the spirit will not shout when they are joining you It's when you have gotten married you see these wicked manifestations now the lord is that spirit and the spirit where the spirit of the lord is are you looking for a job who is looking for it i'm seeing hold on please listen um my sister please shift for me this fair lady where are you coming from kaduna yes, come and stand here i'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job are you looking for a job let us stand up are you looking for a job yes sir hear the word of the lord i'm telling you i'm seeing god giving you a job that will surprise you there's, there's no need to cry god is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame i prophesy to you in the name of jesus according to this that the lord has revealed you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job in the name of jesus let the power of god come upon you and set you free right now now very quickly we are going to do two things please 
if how many of you have written your prayer request if you have written your prayer request please bring it out if you have not written it take time to write very quickly now um, what is I'm hearing Baba Silas what is Baba Silas Baba Silas I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father Baba Silas is what I'm hearing if there is such a person let me just talk to the person now quickly please submit your prayer requests um, there will be ushers, PR, help them or whatever department huh? what give him the mic what's your name what's your name huh? your brother is Silas what I'm hearing is Baba Silas I will pray for you Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, over forever. In the name of Jesus Whatever the challenge is, over forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free from sickness. They will not say you have fibroid. I curse that devil, that lady you are carrying. I rebuke that spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, please, all those, listen, please. We are going to pray for the sick now. Um, there are so many people tonight, and we have to be fast. Our time is gone. But let me say this, whether you are in overflow one or two or three, if you are coming here particularly trusting God for fruit of the womb, whatever overflow, no matter how far, I want you to come into this main auditorium because I will pray for you. Um, alongside them, all those who are trusting God for healing, please come and stand now. Overflow one, please move to your projector stand. Um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. You Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands to this place. Cry from the depth of your heart. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Cry from the depth of your heart. Father, this Egyptian that I see today. I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray, don't look around, pray. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Shiparutas Kabarada Gadesh. Declare it. Those online follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon these requests. We pray over your request in the name that is above all names. The God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, we cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. of the miracle service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies turn around by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the grace that you have supplied. I bring before you, O oh God, 
the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith, as proof that they believe you. Lord, you do these things because you love us, but you also do it to honor our faith. Therefore, Lord, I stand in agreement with the Spirit and I declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now. Every situation represented here by the God of heaven turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited. Your people have prayed. Honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus. There are situations here that need creation. It does not yet exist in the earth realm. We call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. That by this time, next miracle service, some people will only write to intercede for others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing, everybody. Keep standing. I want to pray for you now. Shalakuska Pratikadiash. Thank you for your patience, but I want to speak over your life and I want you to believe every word. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. I prophesy to you, number one, doors be open now. Doors be open now. Gates be open now. Gates be open now. Everyone here in ministry, I stretch my hands towards you. The fire, the grace, shalakatostia. The unction for a new level. The operation of the gifts of the spirit. The operation of revelatory dimensions. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your finances. This is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare by the power of prophecy. Supernatural supplies for you. Supernatural supplies by the wisdom of God. Every pit you have found yourself in. In the name of Jesus, come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. I pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of God in experience this year. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You will return here with strange testimonies. Everything that is yours, but is not yet in your hands. I stand by the God of heaven and by prophecy, wherever it is, I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I command you to locate your hand and your destiny.
I pray for those trusting God for jobs. Father, you are the one who gives jobs. I declare that between now and the next one month, oh God of heaven, let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs. Strange testimonies of miracle jobs. I'm praying for everybody, but this prayer particularly is for the men. The grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability, whether financially, structurally, may that grace, please believe it, may that grace land on your life now. Structural establishment in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dying business in the mighty name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. I speak by the Spirit, let it jack back to life now. I pray for your prayer life. The fire you have not seen from January, even up until September, the grace to fast, the grace to travel wherever you are. Let it rest upon your life now. I pray for you. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. The grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture. That you will see. It. May that grace rest upon you now. opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of Jesus and by the mercy of God I stand tonight and I call for a repeat of it a repeat of that opportunity a repeat of that opportunity may God restore time may God restore opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason in the name of Jesus as you are standing here may the angel of the Lord wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world may the angel of the Lord ensure that in this season they are lifted I declare that they are lifted anyone called barren whether biological barrenness, financial barrenness, ministerial barrenness, I speak to you. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. I say it again be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. Every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise wherever they are i cry unto my god who is your god in the name of jesus may they appear before your destiny hallelujah some of you have been at the same level you have not gone down but you have not gone up either in the name of Jesus this night I push you by prophecy step into the next level help them please step into the next level of your life this is the month of September when a woman is pregnant after nine months she's supposed to give birth and if she does not give birth the doctors have a way of inducing the birth in the name of Jesus everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season I speak to you as a spiritual midwife deliver in the name of Jesus Everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper, that people who should lift you, 
but because they had an information about you in the name of Jesus by the blood I declare a reconnection I declare a reconnection our time is gone but please believe this these are not empty words they are not empty words at all let me pray for your finances again this is what is squeezing people down squeezing families down people are giving up on God because of tea and bread because of the necessities of life listen koinonia I put a mark of exemption in this season over you hear me I command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night in the name of Jesus Christ this is the beginning of the ember months where the spirit of death moves upon families people who have labored when it's now time to reap they will say obituary survive by I forbid the earth from receiving your body I forbid the earth from receiving your body listen and for those of you appointed unto death whether for you or your loved ones by the name of Jesus Christ we extend your life in this place I pray for every student here I don't know what may be happening around your academics but if it requires change we change it now if it requires upgrade we upgrade it now if it requires justice we administer justice now if it requires mercy we provoke mercy now and everyone who is in final year here we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ prayers and we are done everything that represents delay stagnation or limited progress the chain that will allow you move but not so far I break that chain now in the name of Jesus I release you make progress I release you make progress I release you make progress Last prayer point listen to me honor is better than money you can have money and not have honor honor is better than education you can be educated and not have honor the Bible says and Jabez not was more anointed was more honorable than his brethren the grace that makes for honor that can pick you out of a crowd and separate you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you now the Lord is adding one prayer point to my 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 spirit and we have to pray it and the sons of Issachar that they were men who had understanding of the times Listen, I want to release grace for discernment. It's important to know you can miss seasons just because you are not alive. You can, they will come back, but it will take a long time. But I pray for you, the grace for discernment to know seasons. Receive that grace now. Maybe I should add one more prayer point some of you are praying Lord where do I go from here should I travel out of the country should I relocate to Abuja should I go to Lagos see destiny decisions are never to be taken carelessly please hold on hold on relax with this thing you're praying listen there are destiny decisions in life that you need the help of God who to marry where to live 
how many children to give birth to. It looks natural, but it's spiritual. You can give birth to what will fight your blessing. Who to associate with? And Lot went with him. And Jonah went with them. Their experiences were not the same. I pray for you that in the matters of destiny, may the veil, the haziness, let it be torn into pieces tonight. I know a gentleman who had an evangelistic call. Sincere person with an evangelistic call. He went to open a church and he began to struggle to pieces as if God did not send him. No offering, no support, no open door. He was struggling because the pastoral grace was not there. Well intentioned, but no discernment. Again, I pray for you. Whatever you are doing now that is not in the blueprint of your destiny, whether ministerially speaking, business-wise, maritally speaking, I declare a correction now. I declare a correction now. Elijah was asked to wait at Bucheri for a season, not forever. And a raven brought bread, food for him, and he drank from the brook. But a time came when the brook dried. God needed to change strategy. If Elijah did not know he would die there, the same God can help you for 10 years. But by the 11th year, you would change strategy. And if you cannot discern what blessed you before can kill you, I pray for you. The grace to know when to switch. The grace to know when God is saying something else. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Let the name of the Lord be glorified forever and ever. Jesus remains Lord. Amen. Where is that, my friend, who has been waiting for the altar call? He will be the first to come and stand here. While he stands, I want everybody here, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, overflow four, and all the other overflows. You are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus, I need him fast, and I need him seriously. Whether to surrender your heart for the first time, or you are saying, I want to rededicate my life. He cannot be the only one here. Wherever you are, quickly come and join him. Quickly come and join him. I will only count one to five. If you are coming from outside, please rush. Come and join them. You are saying, Apostle, let this be the night that I encounter Jesus. Is there someone like that? One. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Two, please, if you are coming from outside, rush. Run to Jesus. Three, please clear the way for them. If it's for the altar call, let them come. Apostle, I want to come, but my friend is stopping me. May that friend leave you alone in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to come, but people know me. He says... That he who denies me for men, I will deny before my father. You have to rush to come. Someone is coming. Those coming from outside, please rush, 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 rush quickly. Please. Just encourage them so that they will come and stand. Hallelujah. Now, I sincerely salute every one of you. We believe you are mightily blessed. To connect with the ministry and get more from Apostle Joshua Selman, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Koinonia ENI. To stream Koinonia Live, go to mixler.com forward slash Koinonia And download the teachings on koinoniasermons.org. For questions and inquiries, call 0814-721-4444 or 0907 777 
Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.